All right, this is the 47605 PSC Papa Sierra Charlie. It is a, um, a power supply module. Uh, it's bigger than, than the other sizes, but this does 12 volt DC output for most of the modules as well as providing two electrical outlets. This installs in the bottom of the structure media center and it uses the full size opening Just like that. And we get our set of pliers. Now those two pieces are out. We get out our pliers, I'll use these cutters here, and, and twist this this way to break it off. Now we have the full size knockout here. All right, to install this product, uh, you, we've already removed the bottom uh, full-size knockout. Drop the product inside and secure with the provided screws. This product includes self-tapping screws and washers. You need one washer per screw to provide a solid ground for the product. Get all four screws started. The four you drive the screws all the way home to make sure that everything is lined up properly. These are self-tapping screws. They'll cut through the sheet metal and powder coating fairly easily. But they will require to push down a little bit on the screw to get it started. All right, now that they're all in, I'm gonna pull it forward. There's some there's some adjustment capability. If you pull it forward, it just looks better because it's a tighter fit on across the front. Diagonally across, tighten all four screws. So to wire up this product, you're gonna use these wire nuts. There's a small cover on the front right here, number two Phillips. Remove the cover. Watch the little washer. Don't lose the washer. We'll set that aside. Remove the cover. Inside is your power cable. You're going to connect to your AC cable. In order to get it through, we need to take this knockout here out. To get the knockout out, take a standard screwdriver. There's a there's one little uh, part right here that's uh, that looks different that little piece of pie kind of shape right there. That's where the piece is actually connected. So go on the opposite side and give it a one blow down and pull it out. Okay, install a cable clamp. Put the screws facing forward. Double check that the screws are still facing forward and use a screwdriver to drive, drive it tight. There we go. Good. Bring your cable in through the opening and the cable clamp. You're only going to need a couple of inches, but bring it out so you have something to work with. Open up about two to three inches of this cable, not much more than that. Because we don't have a lot of room to store cable in here. Expose all three conductors. Bear the wire. This being the white wire is a 14 gauge, this is a 14-2. You want a good amount of cable of exposed copper. You're gonna have about five eighths to three quarters of an inch. So you have something good to work with there. There we go. So now you have your three cables. And you have your three cables from the product. These are stranded conductors. Peel off the cap, match the ends so they're the same length. Take your cap and turn as you're going on. Turning, turning, turning. You'll feel it bite and start to twist the cables together. That's good. Stop there. Same thing with the black. 
This is new construction. I know this cable is, is not live because it's not even connected at the panel yet. We're still at rough-in stage. There we go. And then the same thing with the ground. Good. Take a small piece of tape, about three to four inches of tape. Go around each wire nut in order to secure it in place. This just keeps them from unwinding. This keeps them from unwinding. Good. Now I'll take some of this slack back out of the box. I'll tighten up my clamp. And we'll replace the cover. Make sure that your power cable is properly secured using your small screwdriver. And making sure everything is inside the box. Reinstall the screw. You'll notice inside of the, the kit that there are several of these little cables, six of them, three on each side in this package. These little cables are designed to plug in to these ports on one end and to 12 volt Leviton accessories on the other end. The cables are long enough to reach the top of any of the three sides of the Destruction Media Center and they allow for a convenient uh, termination of power into the power, power ports without having to cut or splice anything.